In this video, we're going to look at the NEC UC Desktop browser-based client. This client runs on most modern browsers and operating systems. I'm showing it today on my Apple Mac. So let's log in and get started. Starting at the top left, you have your current presence icon. Presence allows you to alert others to your availability, a virtual in and out board. Click on it to change your presence. We'll come back to presence in a little bit. To the right of your current presence icon is a drop down box of the last few numbers you've dialed. Highlight any one of them and click the telephone handset to dial that number through your associated telephone. You can hang up by clicking the disconnect icon in the call status area. We'll do more with the call status area a little later. Continuing across the top of the browser window, you have a logout button, a settings button, and a help button. The open white space is where your calls will appear and give you call control options. This will become clearer when I make a few phone calls. Under the call control area is a tabbed window that shows you busy lamp field for your call group, a directory with three databases, the company extensions, a shared directory that all users have access to, and a personal directory managed by the individual user. Think of these databases as speed dial, but where speed dial is usually initiated by dialing some code like star star 006, you simply click on the number you want to call and the directory is searchable, so you can manage large lists. The last tab is your personal call log, where you can view all calls, just outgoing, incoming, or miss calls. You can also use this call log to call somebody back just by clicking on their number. Let's take a look at some of the call handling capabilities of this client. I'm receiving an incoming call, and as you can see from the call control area, it's from the flower shop, which is one of my customers. If I click on the phone handset, my telephone will go off hook and I will have answered the call. In the call control area, I now have icons to hang up, place the call on hold, transfer it, or initiate a conference. I want to transfer this call to Ann. Now I can either click on the call transfer icon, but since Ann is in my call group, I can simply click on her extension. I have the choice of introducing the caller to Ann, or I can press the complete button to send it directly to Ann's phone and be finished with it. Notice the green square in Ann's busy lamp field. Green means the phone is busy, red means the phone is in do not disturb, and blue means the phone is forwarded. The gray neutral background means the telephone is idle and ready to receive calls. The telephone handset gives me quick access to call their extension or any alternate number stored for that individual, 
such as Ann's home or mobile number. Let's look at the presence icons and what they mean. A quick look tells me a lot about the availability of my coworkers. For example, Rick is in the office. Owen, with the vacation umbrella, is on vacation and he'll be back Monday at 8 o'clock and he left a note that he's up at his lake property. Garrett is showing the out of office icon and when you hover over it you see that he's out at Acme Widgets He'll be back at 4 and to call his cell if it's urgent. Lloyd is showing the meeting icon and he'll be done at 2 o'clock. Darlene has the hamburger or out to lunch icon and she'll be back at 1 o'clock today. That's pretty good information to know. So how do you change your presence? Well, you can change it from this client. Someone else can change it for you if they have the rights to. You can change it from your smartphone with mobile presence. And Windows Outlook users can schedule a presence change from their Outlook calendar. I'm going to change my presence to Out to Lunch. Notice that in the phone settings it remembers that I like to forward my phone to voicemail when I'm out to lunch. So a couple mouse clicks and everybody knows that I'm out to lunch. They can see that my phone is forwarded and if they hover over the hamburger icon they'll see that I'm forwarded to voicemail and I'll be back at noon. Let's say Darlene just came back from lunch and it's my responsibility to keep track of my call group's presence. A couple mouse clicks lets everyone know she is back in the office. The last capability I want to show you is the ability to non-verbally communicate. If you notice, Anne has this icon in her busy lamp field. This lets me know that Anne is running her client and I can send her an instant message. Let's see if she wants to go to lunch. Oh well, looks like I'll be eating alone again. So that's a quick overview of the web client. I showed it on a Mac, but everything I showed you operates the same on a Windows PC. And thanks for watching this demo.